Let's go and talk to Vermont. Get the next bit of quest gun. I've lost two arrows somewhere. That's annoying. Anyway. What am I? Still hungry. I'm going to drop this monkey as well. I think um, this is a monkey that wants a bag. I can make a bag for them, but I'm going to have to sacrifice my fishing rod to do it. Was it fish and chips you want? No, you don't want fish and chips, do you? Coco, big bag for Coco to get. Yes, big bag. Okay, right. Let us uncombine this, and then we'll combine that with that. And I could really do a use of this myself to expand my inventory, but fine. What have you got for me, Coco? A flared tube. Oh, I wish I'd remembered. <laughs> Let's just... Hold on a second. We can do a few things here. Right, first we drop that on the floor. Next we're going to drop... Hold on. This is one of my drop zones that I use. We can drop that on the floor. And we can drop that on the floor. Okay. Often near the points where you're coming out of islands, I will drop items. Because you always get too much for your inventory. And... Um... I mean, things like feathers and everything else, and the, and the flared chip, they just won't be that useful. But it's nice to know where they are, we can come back for them later. Is it worth going to hunt down a deer? Probably not. Right, first we'll talk to Ramon. Hey. I thought you would. The boat is loaded with gas, but we can't leave yet. Oh, here we go. Andrew, Andrew has... I was foolish to let him carry it. Would you... Yes, yes, just go and talk to Andrew. It's cruel, I know, but it must enough, be done. Enough, 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 enough. Ramon, be quiet. Just go. Okay. So, one of the reasons I was happy we got the two tapirs on the previous island is because... We go this way? We can go this way. Um, we can shortcut. Because one of the, what, what Andrew will want is some meat. Oh, fatty die, there we go. So it's nice to have that meat already without having to hunt down the the damn deer on this island. I might do it anyway. Hi. It just saves us a job. There we go. Where's all my arrows? using the bow and arrow there. Oh, I'm nearly dead already. So we can get a close-up on his face? Not really. Pretty disgusting looking. Another one over here. Uh, wooden stick, we'll have that. Wobbling all over the place, you. Okay. Andrew, you here? Not far away, are you? Where's the healing her we picked up for him earlier? There it is. Good stuff. How many Molotovs yet? Oh, we're going to have to deal with a. Oh. <laughs> Do with something big soon, aren't we? Right, Andrew. How you doing, buddy? <coughs> oh, it's you. <sighs> Pretty much considered you dead. Did you find uh, Ramon? <coughs> so fucking cold around here. I could eat you if I'm I could grab so you. So hungry. <laughs> <coughs> I could eat you if I could grab you. Relax, just fucking with you. Really? <coughs> what? The engine starter of the boat? Hey. Wait, wait. I changed my mind. You can have it. Good stuff. <sighs> Bring me some. Okay, give him some meat. This is why I've got the meat. Okay, Mandrew, 
Take the meat. You. Well. Hey. Shh. Now he's going to sit there and gnaw on his meat. There we go. Look at the size of that chunk of meat. <laughs> that was always pretty disgusting in the original game. Without <laughs> the sound effects. Without seeing him leaning over it and gnawing it. Okay. So. This is the point here where I might as well let myself die rather than heating up, probably. But um, we'll keep on going for now. We'll have to meet the boss in a minute. The me boss. So it probably is a good idea, idea be quiet, Andrew, to go and make some incendiary arrows fairly soon. But first, well, let's see how far we can get before we, uh, before we snuff it. Heading through here. You never know. Maybe I'll get a level up or something. And heal up. He's wobbling at me. <laughs> so at this point here, it feels like the game is pretty much back where you like the original. There's there's not too much difference here. There's it's just that there are certain key areas where hold on. Damn it, I thought I was gonna get a one shot kill on him. There we go. Because of the new because of the because of the style of the game, it feels a lot different, and you have to treat the game very differently as well. Is that a live zombie? Yeah, he's just sitting down. And that includes the boss fight. So, you'll see when we get in there, but where in, in some ways the, the way the game works now gives you greater visibility of what's happening around you. Um, I can't sleep right now, game. Stop asking me to. The 3D version now gets you less visibility. So, while the boss is running around, you can hear him grumbling away over there. And you're trying to dodge the zombies around you while taking shots at him. It's much harder to do with the 3D because you can't really see what's behind you. You can't. Oh God! I that was a bit close. <laughs> you can't see what's behind you, and therefore it's much harder to shoot the boss and also keep out of his way. Damn it! Um, just trying to think the best way to do this, really. So the boss fights are a lot harder than in the original game. Uh, where are you? I can hear you. There we go. Oh, don't start with the audio glitches again. Um, oh, I forgot about you lot. There we go. Uh, it was a good. I was just thinking maybe I should light the fire in a minute. <laughs> it's a good demonstration of the creepers there suddenly coming up behind you and killing you pretty much instantly. Where am I back to? Here. Um. Isn't that more health than I had a minute ago? I'm not going to complain too much, but. Ha! Ah. Well, oh, she's going to take the film one of the few shots to kill him. Damn it! Where's he going to go? Where's he going to go? Hold on. Here he goes. Where are you going, you stupid deer? Damn it! I was hoping to come back through this way so I could shoot him again. Is it worth chasing him down? He might actually come back over this way. Get the torch ready. Wrong weapon. Right in the butt. Oh, damn it. Go away. <laughs> Flipping creepers! This okay. So in the first, in the first video, I said that I really bother going out at night, and uh, the creepers are a big problem. Let's just ignore the deer, shall we? We can't really hunt him, hunt him at the moment. 
and that is why because you don't see them coming and when you do see them coming it's very hard to get the torch on them see so you're just taunting me again go away dear let's go and get this fire lit over here without attracting these zombies oh boy very nice let's quickly go over here get some fruit Um, where is it? There it is. Oh, just realised. Yeah, I thought that happened. Yep. Yeah. There you go. I broke my axe. It is now broken. Have I got any stuff spare flints to do anything with? Now the problem is, of course, when the hand axe breaks, or well, your stick breaking, is that you haven't just lost that. You've lost the hardware kit as well, which are much harder to get. And in fact, there's the deer there, look. Um, the, uh, I guess to some degree that the, the hardware, go away, the hardware kits are actually totally limiting in the game. I guess there's only a certain number you can, you can actually get. I don't think you get respawns like you do with bottles and other things like that. So, it's a real problem with the game. So the question is, should I be using the axe at all at this point here? Is it possible to almost run out of all of your uh, of your useful items? And I guess it probably is. Let's see if we can go and sleep up here. Let's stop messing around. Ah, that's the problem, of course, isn't it? Right. We'll stay by the campfire. So we've got protection from the uh, from the creeps. Let's see if we can draw these guys in. <gasps> oh my god! And get back in the circle again before the creepers turn up. That was scary. Um, <laughs> bit of panic fire there. There's an ample example of how this game differs from the original. Yes. Okay. Let's get ourselves sorted out. So. Uh, okay. So the boss is over that way, I think. A little bit turned around here. Let's see if we can get a chance to go and sleep. And heal up a little bit. I know I said I was going to let myself die, but let's let's try. And now the the option to fire is gone because I can't rely on protecting myself from the creepers by dropping this dropping this so I can get my missile weapon out. Uh, it also makes. Fighting in a rain much more difficult as well. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to sneak over here. Get this fire lit. Before we attract Mr. Fatty's attention. And we'll peg him first. So that we can then deal with the rest of them, possibly with our torch. Maybe we possibly actually just dealt with all the the problem right there. Looks like they were already injured from the fatty explosion. Excellent. Now, have we now cleared out enough that we can go and get sleep over here without any problems? There may be somebody in here. Oops, I didn't want to pick that up, thank you. 
What's with the audio glitches? Yeah, I've had to have but see I've had to have once before where I came into a place and I thought it was clear. I then found a zombie there was a zombie in there with me. <laughs> Hopefully at least we mean this means we can have a fight, a boss fight. Come on, health, a bit higher. Boss fight um, in the daytime. Oh, very laggy. What's happening there? Are you are you are you well, game? You don't look very well. You've you've gone very unhappy suddenly. Right. I think this is probably a good point to call call it anyway. After playing a few hours of this, we've got no respawns out here. So there you go. A bit more progression on the game. Um, a bit more illustration of, of its of its pros and cons. This is from the original. Oh, excellent. We can actually drink here as well. Do we need to drink? Not really, but we could do a gathering some more water probably. Hold on. Let's take three. That's actually surprising. I thought, I thought you were only going to get two from a, from a watering hole. But you only got three bottles of water. Is this now empty? It's empty. Okay. Right, so there you go. I will save again here, and hopefully you'll join me again next time.